Good afternoon. I was asked that question, which was sort of provocative, uh, and it's extremely difficult to provide an answer to it in point of fact. It's well known that throughout million years or millions of years, uh, the viruses were evolutioning by the same token as any living species up till now. And that evolution was going on due to the implementation of neural modifications of the old sequences. And by the same token, it's common knowledge that thousands of contemporary viruses uh, uh, had the origin from uh, uh, their ancient foregoers. Uh, so most of the viruses in most likelihood have got their own progenitors. Uh, if that's the way it is, uh, we decided to find the answer to the question, is it possible nowadays to find ancient variants uh, using as an example Epstein-Barr virus? A few words about Epstein-Barr virus. It's the first oncogene human virus discovered in 1964. And the discovery of this virus is uh, related to the name of Dennis Burkett, who described uh, unusual lymphoma yeah, uh, when he was in equatorial Africa. Uh, he was making those uh, observations. He was interested uh, by the tumors discovered, mostly damaged uh, mandible maxilla uh, in children. And he brought this uh, tumor uh, tissue to London to Anthony, Anthony Epstein uh, laboratory and uh, Anthon Epstein together with Yvonne Barr, his associate, cultivated the uh, cells and they found and cultured a liquid uh, virus particles then using electronic microscope and molecular studies and immunological studies. He demonstrated that that is the no representative of herpes virula of human beings. And it turned out that this virus infects the entire population of planet Earth. Uh, it happens at early children's stage, goes quite painlessly, and humans, healthy human beings, live with this virus all the life through uh, without any problems uh, or manifestation of uh, some disorders uh, and vital status. Because in human, in healthy humans, there is a good balance between the immune system and viral infection. The thing is that there is the dynamic equilibrium which evolves between the status of immune system and viral replication. If uh, the immune system is inferior, virus starts reproducing, multiplying. Uh, and when the e immune system is back to normal, this replication of vi viral replication is subsiding. In case this equilibrium between immune system and a viral system is distorted, and extra factors are engaged into the process that might bring about malignant uh, neoplasm. Thing is that. This virus is a trigger. It is the trigger and it uh, starts and triggers the process. Uh, by infecting the cell, it transforms the cell. Uh, normal immune system removes this cell. Uh, 
provided extra factors are implemented into this process. They enhance and transform this cell. So at the end of the day, that brings about malignant carcinomas. As to this virus, a broad range of benign and malignant carcinomas are here. Uh, it's uh, benign proliferations, uh, uh, proliferations like infectious mononucleosis, uh, hair lelicotache of the oral cavity against the backdrop of immunodepression suppression. It's Hodgkin lymphomas and immunodeficit diseases. Very vivid example of this is Burkitt uh, lymphoma, African and American one and also its cancers as well. Uh, it's uh, or nasal uh, cancers and also GI cancer types. Uh, recent studies show that among the tumors, uh, uh, Epstein-Barr associated tumors will also can find epithelial origin tumors. He describes several cases of uh, uh, breast cancer associated to this virus. And there are some instances of uh, uh, rectum cancer, lung cancer, and non-epithelial cancers, uh, uh, different uh, squamous cell lymphomas as well. The ability of Epstein Barr uh, viruses and its own gene potential is related to functioning of the so called latent infection, infection uh, genes, which are coded into latent uh, proteins. First of all, it's the complex of nuclear latent uh, uh, proteins, Abner, uh, Eber, uh, uh, and and the complex of latent membrane uh, uh, proteins, LMP1, LMP2A, LMP2B. Each one of those latent proteins uh, makes uh, its own contribution in inverted uh, uh, into concert genesis, but the central role is played by LMP1 oncogene because it's exactly this oncogene and uh, uh, the uh, proteins encoded by it uh, transform and distort the wide range of different pathways, sentinel pathways also, uh, turning the cell into malignant cell. But it turns out that LMP1 possesses expressed polymorphism throughout a lengthy time period for many years on end. In different countries, there were descriptions of specimen of LMP1, which were obtained from different geographic regions, from different ethnic groups, and in order to put uh, in order the accumulating amount of LNP1 specimen, several classifications were uh, suggested. One of those classifications was proposed by Edwards and L in 1999, which uh, took account of the availability of amino acid replacements, insets, inserts, uh, deletions, and so on. Uh, those options were tied to different geographic regions. So LMP1 uh, of Mediterranean origin went up uh, plus and minus Chinese 1, China 1, China 2, China 3 LMP, and Northern Carolina and Alaska LMP1 and C and LMP1 ALA.
If we are to get back to the major purpose and goal of our studies, we assume that in most likelihood the ancient option of Epstein Barr uh, virus should be seen among viral isolates which are circulating among the representatives of the most ancient ethnicities. And we also assume that each and every ethnos has got uh, its own ancient variant of the virus. And we assume that this quest for ancient abstain bar viruses uh, variants, if they retained until these days, we should do that by analyzing the uh, specimen of oncogene LMP1 as most variable gene of the virus. And we also assume that LMP1 ancient uh, variant should be somehow different uh, by some unusual mutations, maybe, or functions from the uh, genes which, uh, which uh, of those which exist exist nowadays. As to the task and objective of the research, we tried to find ancient Epstein Burr uh, variant uh, with the help of oncogene LMP1 in the strains of the viral virus, which is circulated, uh, circulating in one of the most ancient peoples of Russia, Tatars from Pavolgia re the region. Uh, uh, actually, uh, their predecessors were the Gaul uh, Tatar tribes, uh, the Golden tribes of most ancient origin. They were their foregoers. The object of study worse mirrors uh, uh, of oral cavity rich in viral particles that was done by students of Kazan State Medical University but it and it's important to identify the circumstance related to the fact that those were uh, Tatar students of Tatar nationality uh, in no less than three generations. Uh, but going backwards, uh, and we studied uh, also this uh, studied uh, oral cavity smears of uh, Slavic people from Moscow. They were Slavic in three generations going backwards, uh, and we extracted DNK and amplified gene LMP1. Then we sequenced PCR products in LMP1 and uh, protein products of this gene were assessed uh, by Edwards and L classification, which I mentioned before. Out of uh, 60 smears of oral cavity of ethnic Tatars, we amplified 41 a specimen of LMP1 and 21 out of that number we classified as B958A and met one, no, China one. Uh, 20 samples uh, were outside the classification. At the same time, among those, in seven instances, we discovered. Uh, the variants with uh, unique mutations uh, which uh, compiled the monolith group. And what else is important here? I would like to underscore the fact that out of 50, 5.0 uh, smears of oral cavity. We amplified PCR uh, specimen of LMP1, and they were classified as B9258A, MED1, China1, and on top of that, NCA, North Carolina. Uh, what's interesting here is that among uh, ethnic Slavic people, uh, B95 A were predominant. This variant has got very low transforming activity, whereas among ethnic Tatars, uh, such a variant was discovered only in 29% of cases. As to all the rest, instances. Uh, 
uh, they were attributed to the variants having very high proliferic activity. Having analyzed those seven uh, unconventional specimens, we discovered mutations uh, which were outside the known classifications. Those were deletions, five amino acids, I mean, uh, 312, 316 second deletion also consisted of five amino acids in the domain of 382, 386. When we conducted phylogenetic analysis of Tatar specimen, we saw that this group encompassing seven specimen was localized in a standalone way in phylogenetic tree. This group was also identified when we were evaluating it uh, uh, when it comes to repeats, 11 repeats of amino acids, which consisted uh, from seven repeats of 11 amino acids, whereas the other variants of Tatar origin by the same token contained a different number of those uh, repetitions. Apart from that, this group exclusive of one specimen did not contain the insert of five amino acids, uh, uh, whereas the other specimen of ethnic Tatars frequently contained those insets, inserts. And it's important to see that as to the composition of those inserts of 11 amino acids, uh, this group looked very much uh, Cal uh, LMP1 uh, CAO variant, which has got very high transforming activity level. That way, Having discovered in conventional uh, variant of NP1 in uh, uh, Stambar uh, stains, which were circulating among ethnic Tatars, we were questioning ourselves whether uh, vir Epstein Barr uh, virus strain uh, is in correlation with this LNP1 variant. Does it impact uh, um, morbidity and mortality of uh, malign? Uh, malignant and uh, benign tumors, which could be associated to this ancient Epstein-Barr uh, virus. Uh, here you can see morbidity and mortality cases, morbidity A and mortality B. Blue bars show uh, uh, prevalence uh, among population of Moscow, red one shows morbidity among Tatarstan, Tatar Republic, and we can see that uh, uh, stomach and GI uh, cancer morbidity in Tatarstan uh, population is higher versus Moscow one, uh, and there is a different uh, st uh, uh, error margin, but at the same time, mortality from the morbidity we compare, that is oral cavity, laryngeal, pharyngeal, uh, uh, GI uh, tumors, malignant lymphomas, the mortality was slightly high in Tatar Republic versus Moscow population. But having said that, I could see that uh, those differences were not statistically significant. We think that in most likelihood, that option with unconventional LNP1 gene 
most unlikely impacts morbidity and mortality because we know that the number of cases associated with malignant tumor uh, malignant tumors associated to Epstein Barr virus is very insignificant, very small number. Also allow me to draw the conclusions. The ethnic Tartars showed seven isolates of Epstein Barr virus with the LMP1 variant that is different not only of the variants found in other Tartars but also uh, in ethnic Slavs. And this oncogene is absent in well-known classifications and also in computer databases, taking into account the historic crews of the ethnic Tatars, we made a very brief assumption that this Epstein Barr virus, EBV, with the LMP1 unique uh, uh, variant, has an ancient origin, but we do not exclude that this may be a polymorphic variant of oncogene associated with specific territory, visually Tatarstan, and is not ancient. To find out whether this hypothesis is uh, true or not, we have to increase uh, the number of observations and study functional peculiarities of uh, this gene. So if you ask me directly whether the ancient strain of EBV with this uh, uh, oncogene of Tata origin extraordinary and can be found only among the Kazan Tatas, I can answer as following. There's the phrase that Theresa May used highly likely to be specific. There's a team, the group of uh, the viral cancerogenesis uh, lab blocking center, uh, tumor biochemistry lab uh, blocking center, and the professor from the Republican Clinical Onco Dispensary from Tatarstan, Dr. Petrov. Thank you. And thank you for your interesting presentation. Any questions to the speaker? I have uh, a couple of questions. What is uh, the possible functional meaning of the amino acids uh, replacement? you found in this group, Tatka. We have to still find out the answer to this question. It's a very important question, and we'll have a specific study that will show whether there is a functional difference. These strains are uh, compared to the other ones uh, from ethnic Tatars. Another question, which ethnic groups, to your point of view, are of interest in terms of ancient EBV variants, aside for Tatars, based on our hypothesis, maybe some ancient, other ancient groups. In Russia, quite a lot of them, like uh, Adgeya, Would it be uh, interesting and useful to start from the disease incidence among uh, ethnic populations, the diseases that may be caused by EBV? You mean pathologies associated with EBV? We will take this into account for sure. And maybe it will be a decisive factor 
in selecting an ethnic group? What about the isolation of ethnic group uh, from other ethnic groups? Does it, uh, is it important for such type of studies? The fact is that in our studies, we are trying to involve ethnic groups or ethnic participants who are uh, who belong to the ethnic group in the third, fourth, or fifth uh, generation. So isolation has no meaning because we can't call Tat as an isolated ethnic group. There may be ethnic Tatars in some five or six generation, but live uh, uh, in the conditions surrounded by other ethnic groups. For example, if you go to the far north, uh, where the ethnic groups live very uh, uh, in great isolation and do not have any contacts with the other groups, it would be very interesting to study them and compare uh, the groups from the far north and the south. One question more. Are there any studies or comparisons of this data with the paleogenetics results? For example, is there a possibility to trace uh, the presence uh, of uh, uh, this virus in some uh, samples, uh, fossil samples? I do not know this. What I know is that tumors are found in the ancient world uh, representatives in mammoths and ancient fish, but whether they were associated with the EBV, I do not know. I have a highly applied question. Which clinical forms are connected with the EBV uh, are registered in the central part of the Russian Federation? Up to the Ural Mountains. Quite a lot. First and foremost, uh, nasopharyngeal uh, cancer, which has quite a high incidence some variants of Hodgkin lymphoma, also quite uh, highly incident, incidence, rare, but uh, still Burkitt lymphoma, and some variants of the gastric cancer. In our lab, we found out that around 9% of uh, gastric cancers, gastric tumors, are associated with EBV. Haven't you tried to isolate the virus in these patients, sequence it, and find uh, out the mutations? The same mutations you found among the Volga Tatars. You have a clinical condition, you have a virus, and it is easier to isolate the virus in, uh, uh, from a patient in a clinical condition. Nasopharyngeal carcinoma, for example, or mononucleosis, you can isolate the virus. You have not tried that now.